I'm going to be all right. Yes, so, sir. Don't worry about right. that. <laughs> Y'all keep on doing what you're doing because it's paid off. I went over there to the gym and I walked around there a little bit. I don't walk as fast as I used to. And I'm proud of that, but I'm still moving. That's right. Yeah, that's and right. I come in and spend a little time and I move on. Mm-hmm. And that's the way I got to do. But uh, don't ever forget that I'm moving. <laughs> Lashes can't cover me up if I keep moving. <laughs> as long as I keep it, that funeral right. home man. Lashes. They can't cover me up. No, he can't okay. cover Funeral home man can't cover okay. me up as long as I keep moving. Oh, so, stay on the move. If he come back. Nobody can get to me. <laughs> Ooh, but I am I know, pleased right? to say, and, and I want you that don't I ain't got here yet, in the up here around the 80s. Yes. God has been good to me. Oh, yeah. See, I know how I was at in 47. Mm-hmm. I know where I am today, 216. Mm-hmm. God has been good to me. Yes, yes he has. Yes. And he'll be good to you. Right. He is. If you love people like you want and treat them like you want to treat you. That's right. We're dealing with two situations in this, in this county. And God knows and John Lee knows that we have no business wasting taxpayers' money with this foolishness. Two people, four people, five people, really. Mm-hmm. But our own government that we put in place mm-hmm. has caused these hardships on these people mm-hmm. to raise the kind of money they got to raise to go to court for something that lawful you can do. Mm-hmm. That's right. So you're sad about it. Right. Amen. You're sad about it. But it's a God that and I don't care who know I said it. Yes, but I don't have to run no more. That's right. Well, I, don't cut no, I ain't cutting no bait. I'm being wherever I be. Mm-hmm. So that's my situation. And Mayor, thank you for being here. Mm-hmm. Love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love me, man. What's up? What's up? Well, let me, let me give you my comments. First of all, uh, Commissioner Gow, you my guy on the Parks and Recreation. You my guy over there, yeah. children with disabilities. Yeah. Oh, the children with disability yeah, and the children over there at the parks and recreation. Oh, they got a friend that sits in the mayor's seat. <laughs> you about to believe that they'll never have to show up to the chamber. Never have to show up to the chamber. Uh, we always talk about our youth, uh, our youth this and our youth that, mm-hmm. parks and recreation. We have 460 children playing football or cheering right now. Right or wrong? That's correct. 460. 460 children out there playing football. Uh, Teams have cheerleaders. You can't tell them it's not Friday night under the big lights. (laughs) You just can't tell them. Just throw that out your mind. Go out there. This is serious business. From the coaches to the cheerleaders. You think it's Friday night at Jordan Stadium when you go out there. They out there doing pyramids. Tell them again. <laughs> they out there having a wonderful time. This is the city of Douglas at its best. This is what we do better than anything. It's provide an opportunity for our children to have a great time. Mm-hmm. To interact with one another. Parks and Recreation. Them kids. Children with disability. Oh. We got to do something. Also stand in step with those children, the boys and Girl Scouts. If you got a child that uh, doesn't have anything to do and doesn't get involved in the Parks and Recreation Program, contact Commissioner Goward. He's over there, one of those troop leaders. We, we can find something for him to do. Send them out there to Camp Thunder and start a fire with some dead gum uh, sticks and bricks and stuff. <laughs> Eat out of some cans and sleep in the woods and run from. Is that a snake? Run first. <laughs> run first. Clowns. Also, uh, over on uh, Gaskin Avenue, uh, uh, over at the Round Tree Center, we have the Boys and Girls Club. Hey, stop passing by. Stop passing by. Stop. Go in and be inquisitive. Grab your child. Go in there. So here it is. I told you the Parks and Recreation, Boys and Girls Scouts, the Boys and Girls Club. That's what we're banking on right there. Bring the children in and let them uh, have an opportunity to play and interact with other individuals. Next thing, uh, Miss uh, Miss Bingo. <laughs> Bingo. And the reason why I call yeah. her Miss Bingo yeah. is this 
one of the evacuees, he had a child on his hip, and he was like, look, I couldn't play bingo for my children. When we going to do the adult bingo? <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> so people were chasing her down. What time is the bingo? What time is the bingo? I did not I know people love bingo so much. Oh, yeah. So uh, <laughs> that was really good. But uh, the new utility bill, didn't that roll out October 3rd? Yes. October 3rd? Outstanding. So uh, when you open up your utility bill, it should be uh, very easy to read. We've broken it down, uh, electric, water, sewer, <laughs> trash, gas. Oh, yes. So that you'll be able to read it and understand it. There's also uh, a sample bill on our website that breaks down each part of the bill so that you can have a fundamental understanding. However, if you do not understand that utility bill, Please come down here to our 311 center. We'll be more than happy to sit down and explain it to you. Uh, next, you know I've been preaching this sermon here for a while. Here comes Christmas. Here comes Christmas. I need the churches to go ahead and start planning to have some a float in the parade. Remember the theme is peace on earth. That's right. Peace on earth. Do not start out big. Do not go get one of those big flat beds. Do not do that. I'm talking from experience. From experience. Get you a, one of them big four by uh, four trucks and pull you a trailer. Start small. Start small. But I do want the churches to be well. No, I want them to be overrepresented in this Christmas parade. The businesses are doing a great job. We need the churches to get a little bit more involved. Also, we're going to have a Christmas program. We're going to have more things going on than you can shake a stick at. There's going to be something going on throughout, uh, well, at the end of November and through December, correct? Concerts, Christmas tree lights, ceremony, just all type of things going on. Also, before we get to that Christmas, remember there's Veterans Day. There is Veterans Day. Every time you get to walk down that street, think of it. Every time you get to do the things that we do in this country, think of it. Think of it. And on Veterans Day, we need to show some respect and some love to those veterans. Uh, also, starting uh, next year, we get the, uh, the year started off right with Dr. Martin Luther King Day. Once again, do a great program all over the place. I know we go to the, to the center, Pleasant Grove, down here at the theater. We do a breakfast, do all type of stuff more opportunities to get involved. Uh, my last comment is this right here. I cannot, I cannot express how I failed over at that shelter. Uh, my, last, my last thing I'm gonna say about that shelter for now is I was sitting over there, we had orchestrated to get some more television and the television sitting over at the Parks and Recreation and there was a lady, she was sitting there, and the uh, it was Brunswick, I believe, and she said, that's my house. That's my house. What am I going to do? And then her two children walked up and hugged her, and she said, we safe. We safe. To feel that, oh, that's my house. What am I going to do? And then to say, we're safe. That's what you did, Douglas. That's what you did. You made those individuals forget their problems, if only for a little while. Right. Are we perfect? No, we're not yeah, perfect. Right. We're not perfect. Do we have a long ways to go? Mm -hmm. Not as long as people think we do. That's right. Not as far as people think we have to go. But we're more than moving in the right direction. We're more than moving in the right direction. And sometimes we have a difficult time getting to where, we're, where we need to go because we keep holding on to the past. You know, I understand do not forget your past because you're surely to repeat it. I understand that and I believe that. But you know something? A conversation can change some stuff. Show right know. or wrong? Got to have a conversation. Mr. Jacob, can a conversation change some stuff? Yes, sir. Got to have it. They always say uh, <laughs> prayer changes things. Oh, come on. But you know something, prayer changes people. It do. Mm -hmm. Huh? Prayer changes people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might just need to pray about it. 
at this time, that will conclude uh, my comments. We're going to take a brief recess because we do have a utilities committee meeting. So we'll give our guest the opportunity to depart the chamber. We'll take a quick five minute break and we'll come back and do the utilities. Any questions? All right, we're in recess. Good deal.